When it comes to the Batman Arkham game universe, there's only one major Justice League member that has the most screen time currently as of this video being released is Batman, of course. Which makes sense. There's like four or five games centered around Batman in this universe, so it's obvious he's going to have the most screen time, even though there are other Justice Leaguers that also exist in this universe Batman's a part of and affiliated with, like characters like Wonder Woman, who had a decent amount of screen time in the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League video game that's set in the Arkhamverse. In fact, she's actually one of the few Leaguers that never actually got possessed by Brainiac. Have you ever wondered how strong she is? She doesn't have that much to go off of and you're probably thinking she's not that strong because she got completely obliterated by superman even though she had kryptonite on her side when superman was possessed of course she got completely overpowered even with kryptonite in his chest you're probably thinking she's weak because of this right well if you play the game multiple times like i have at this point when you analyze stuff you know how i analyze these videos i gotta analyze it for you even though there's a lot of mystery around this game there's some evidence or implications that the leaguers that are possessed by brainiac could be amped up more than normal means because this should technically have killed him a kryptonite to the chest and he's still able to do this much damage to wonder woman i mean the game even says it it should have killed him and it didn't the consequences of corruption have created changes in superman down to his dna this is like a reoccurring theme in this game the league has their dna changed one can argue this could be an amplification because every time an amped up justice leaguer faces a non-amped up justice leaguer in this game the fight is used it's just a mismatch you're probably wondering where's my evidence for this well we kind of see evidence of this with green lantern too how he's extremely i mean he's probably powerful in base form but yeah it seems like this brainiac junk makes him crazy because when Flash actually fought Green Lantern, when Flash wasn't possessed by Brainiac yet, one can argue a non-amped up Flash, one can argue versus an amped up Green Lantern under Brainiac's possession. I would like to believe a Flash versus Green Lantern fight wouldn't be a mismatch, but it seems like when he's amped up like this, Green Lantern's amped up like this, it seems like it's more of a mismatch. Like, he put up a little fight, like the Flash did against Green Lantern, but at the end of the day, as strong as the Flash is, he got messed up by Green Lantern when he was possessed by Brainiac really badly, to the point where the Flash is unable to really stand or do anything. Not to mention there's more lore in the game when it comes to these Argus Take 5s that kind of give more explanation on how they even got possessed in the first place. This is more implications that when he's possessing these leaguers, they he unlocks their apparent full potential one could say make them stronger than they usually would do i think this has something to do with wonder woman getting molested so bad when it comes to fighting superman i mean i believe if you want to believe superman stronger fine but i don't think the gap in power would be that big to the point where she would just get murked that easily honestly more evidence that they could be amped is that you know how gold you know how kryptonite is supposed to like mess them up real bad but you know how gold kryptonite in comic lore is apparently an element that will take away the superpowers of a kryptonian permanently but in this game's universe it only dampened his powers or temporarily weaken him it did like even so it, there, that's this right here is a more implications that this version of superman and the other leaguers are amped when they're under possession of brainiac which could be part of the reason why wonder woman got messed up so bad like they even stated i let them say it for me i've synthesized a more potent vector for kryptonite radiation i call this new metamaterial gold kryptonite the gold kryptonite will dampen superman's abilities dampen him a fighting chance are you serious? Like, what the heck did Brainiac do to him? But yeah, but that's just my that's just my view. What do you guys think? Like, even John Stewart, when he's like giving everybody a tutorial on how everybody gets integrated by Brainiac, he talks about but once you've been enhanced, and Planet Brainiac could be actually enhancing the character's power on top of their own power. That could be the reason why the fight between Superman and Wonder Woman was so one sided on Superman's side, even when she had Kryptonite. Believe what you want to believe, though. But let's analyze her strength. She's ridiculously strong still, whether you like it or not. Just like if you're a comic reader, you know she got the standard stuff we're used to when it comes to her origin. I'll let her explain her origin for me real quick. You guys know this stuff, though. I'm Wonder Woman, Diana. I was born on Themyscira, the secret island home of the Amazons. As a child, I grew up believing I would remain on Themyscira with my Amazonian sisters. I learned that I was the daughter of Zeus, ruler of the gods. From my father's side of the family, I was given the strength to wield my impenetrable gauntlets. We've actually seen her shield withstand heat vision from Superman itself. That's how you know her shield is durable. I mean, matter of fact, we even see the heat vision deflect off her shield. So, yeah, it's durable. My sword, and most importantly, my magic lasso, which compels anyone to tell the truth. Her lasso is literally made, like stated in the game's files, Argus tapes, like Wonder Woman's lasso is made by the magical fires of Hestia. They burn eternal in the lasso. Armor was forged by Themyscira's finest artisans to endure all sorts of danger. It's an ancestral relic passed down from one generation 
to the next. Nothing beats Amazonian craftsmanship. It's confirmed that this universe version of Wonder Woman has centuries of combat experience, so she's very used to fighting. Her skills is crazy. So she has amazing strength. She can actually fight and has gear on top of all of this mess. Like right here is a clear example of her using her gear, like her lasso in combat. Kind of showing off her strength in the process, slinging humans with ease. The gauntlets, you just literally heard her talk about the gauntlets yourself. I don't even have to say it, but yeah, they're durable enough to withstand bullets and all kinds of stuff. When it comes to her strength and durability, her body's extremely durable because even when all the other people felt the impact of the blow, when she was fighting a Superman possessed by Brainiac, one can argue he was amped up, she was still able to withstand his attacks without splatting. I mean, she did get overwhelmed, but she didn't just get one shot at That should be noted. Literally got hit by Superman from a piece of a tank, and she stayed conscious from that hit. You can kind of get an idea of her strength just by, you see how she leaps around that place. How she can pin grown men down with her super strength and they can't move like Captain Boomerang. Part of this could be that she can fly in this game's universe too, or she could just be using her leg strength to jump really high yeah she has some really strong legs stuff like this you might not notice because you know picking up harley quinn isn't really a feat but when you can sling these humans you try to sling a human this far in real life you can see how strong this really is and wonder Woman makes this look super easy and this large shark she can just toss that far too she's so strong that captain boomerang and deadshot didn't even bother even come against her they just listened not to mention all of these beings are in this same shipping container these containers, depending on the size, can weigh a couple tons. So we know this Wonder Woman, as a bare minimum, can lift a couple tons, four or five tons, a bare minimum being disrespectful because she was able to lift these shipping containers with these Suicide Squad members in them, including King Shark, who probably weighs like a thousand pounds on his own. Hey lady, throwing us into a building? Totally out of line. And just look at the size comparison between her and King Shark. Size literally means nothing because she can just slide him to the side. You see this vehicle she got pushed into? Like this vehicle, there's implications she actually lifted up this vehicle because you see it get slung towards Superman here. It's not a little vehicle she can just toss. This is nowhere near her limit. The upper limits of her really is really unknown. We've seen her use her sword to cut up entities like this. She's not afraid to go for the lethal blow. Even big boys like King Shark, she can punch and send him flying. I mean, sure, we can all debate on who's j the strongest of the Justice League. I think we all can agree that when it comes to the powerhouses, they're all within the same ballpark, depending on what you think who's the strongest. I'm not really trying to get into all that. But you can kind of get an idea of how strong she is or how hard she can punch just in general if she can compete with beings like Green Lantern or the Flash of this universe, blah, blah, blah. We know a Green Lantern can make anything that he wants in his head or with his willpower of this ring and such. Even when he's possessed by Brainiac, we've seen him do some crazy stuff. Like astronomically large constructs of himself. Like he had the whole Suicide Squad trapped in this case, like this giant building sized cage dome they was in. Like, yeah, this is the kind of stuff he makes. Like, for example, Green Lantern made this giant building sized fort. Like, this thing had to be a couple city blocks. Like, you see how wide of a structure Green Lantern can just make in this universe? All this is made by Green Lantern. And he could just sustain stuff this size. Green Lantern is ridiculously strong. Even powerhouses like King Shark, who's the strongest physically of the Suicide Squad group, couldn't just break out of his constructs. This is the type of beings that Diana had to compete with, even while he's possessed and possibly amped. Green Lantern. I don't think I've ever seen Wonder Woman bleed before. He used Wonder Woman's efforts to protect civilians against her. Green Lantern wanted to wear her down. I really hate making assumptions, but some assumptions seem to be fair. I mean, he's a Green Lantern. I just highly doubt building shattering stuff will be enough to take him on. So as a bare minimum, just from the size of his constructs, Wonder Woman has to be in that ballpark to build at least level buildings. I mean, just look at the size of this construct that the Suicide Squad members couldn't get out. This was definitely the size of a building, and they weren't getting out of this either. I think it's pretty fair to assume that her punches could level a building or make one fall or lean over, at least tremble one. Like you got this occasion from the far distance, you can kind of see Wonder Woman doing damage to this building up here, like them going through it. You see how she punched Superman that far. I think she could level it. Like you can see the collateral for her hits. It would be weird if she couldn't do something like this with her punching power. It would just be weird if she couldn't. I'm not saying she's necessarily equal to Superman, but her punches, we've seen him do some damage to the concrete against a Superman that's probably not holding back. I mean, without even counting Kryptonite, look how heavy her punches are against Superman. You can literally see the shock waves of how hard she can hit going through all that rubble. You can kind of get an idea of how strong she is based on the being she's fighting. I mean, I definitely believe her leveling buildings is just scratching the surface because when she was fighting Superman, of course, even though she did have Kryptonite, being she was fighting with such a crazy threat. See, there was like this nuke, you know, a nuclear bomb that went off, right? That didn't hit them or nothing. But the Suicide Squad actually felt like Superman was such a scary threat 
Well, at least Deadshot thought they should at least took their chances with an actual nuclear bomb, this being that Wonder Woman's fighting. I don't think these kind of things are an exaggeration. I know they're just statements, but it kind of makes sense. If you read enough Superman comics, you know, this sounds about right. Like, they would definitely need a nuke to at least try to hurt him with it. <laughs> There's nothing really contradicting Superman's power level being this strong in this universe either. Y'all remember this scene where a nuclear bomb actually went off in the game? Like a nuclear explosion, something that can blow away an entire city? Like Superman actually caught a nuclear missile and it looked like he threw it, but he didn't actually throw it. Superman, when he was possessed by Brainiac, actually flew the missile far away and it looked like he might have been right next to it point blank when he flew it somewhere else. It's really vague on if he was right next to the nuclear explosion, but if he was, this actually would make us get more of an understanding of how bare minimum strong she would have to be to even be able to somewhat compete with him or damage him when it comes to her striking power. Because if he actually did what we are thinking he did and was still been in the middle of all that, that would kind of give you a bare minimum of how durable this Superman is. For her to be able to punch and slugfest it with him this much, she has to be somewhere in that ballpark with him. Like, one can say her hits can hit worse or like a nuke, you know? Implying she has city trembling or nuclear bomb s sentry type punches to be able to somewhat damage a being, kind of, sort of, that can apparently take a nuke point blank if that's what really happened in that scene, you know? I definitely think that this universe version of Wonder Woman could definitely punch with similar or more force as a nuclear explosion because the being she's fighting in batman's opinion batman believes this universe version of superman is literally strong enough to literally carry an entire planet on his shoulders literally statements like this have to be taken literal even though we haven't seen this universe version of superman actually do it on screen let's be honest he probably can do it too it's like a common superman thing to move planets at this point no matter which really universe we're talking about i know what you're gonna say well she's nowhere near his level well she ain't that far off i mean not to mention how i kind of explained earlier in this video he was more than likely and i could be completely wrong this video gets completely retconned or whatever but for now it looks like they're amped like this is all theoretical there's no exact math to this but let's just say i don't know amped superman not amped him if there was like a grid of like raw punching power and just punching strength and blah 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 blah, blah. repeat this is a theory guys this is not set in stone this is not no exact math or blah 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 blah, blah. It's one of them situations where we don't really know the exact numbers, but if we had to make an assumption, even if you want to say Superman unamped is still stronger than a Wonder Woman unamped, I think the fight would have been a lot harder. Either way, even if he does win, it's going to be a tough fight. So even if he can carry the weight and you want to assume he's stronger than her, which is cool to have your opinion about that, we don't really have no information, but she can't be that far behind, meaning if he can lift the planet, then she should be able to lift maybe 90% the weight of the planet a planet blah 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 which would make her similar in strength or power ranges even if he has the edge because this statement about him being able to carry a planet was actually him unamped by the way guys like there's like tapes of superman and batman just having a normal conversation and they are stating that he can carry an entire planet when they're not amped by brainiac or possessed by brainiac or whatever so to really get a true understanding of her might this kind of changes the game if we assume this that would mean her punches are heavy or similar to a planetoid hitting you in the face too. If she's somewhere in the ballpark with him. That's the great thing about planetoids. Even if you don't want to assume she can lift the earth. If you want to say she's weaker than Superman. Even if she's weaker than Superman to the point where she can't carry the weight of the earth. But she can carry the weight. Oh, I don't know. A planetoid like the moon or something. That would still mean she can technically move smaller planetoids, right? But if they want to say she's somewhere in the ballpark with Superman. There's a possibility in this universe. In theory, she should be able to support an entire planet like earth on her back. Just like Superman can possibly, right? This might sound like something over the top for people that are not used to this comic book feats type stuff, but this is kind of common Wonder Woman and Superman stuff. This is not really much of an assumption when you look at the source material. Even though this is their own universe, they take a lot of elements from the main comics or source material. I don't see no reason on why she wouldn't be able to do something like this. We just, you know, it's just a fresh universe, fresh screen time. We haven't seen them do nothing crazy like this. You know, it just seems fair though, right? At the very least, her punches should be able to at least tremble something if she can lift that kind of weight or move a planetoid or a planet or blah, 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 or something. Somewhere in the ballpark with Superman, somebody stated he can carry on the whole planet, right? Her punches should feel somewhere in that ballpark too, right? Not to mention, this may not seem like much, but when Superman was attacking her and he was more than likely not holding back because he's possessed, she was able to kind of push his head back while he's bloodless. And so that kind of lets you know that her strength is somewhere in the ballpark and then she used Kryptonite to ease it to make him stop shooting too. But before the Kryptonite, she was still able to move his head backwards to show her strength level still. She's not a featherweight in comparison to him. Not to mention there's little baby weight feats that Superman has done in the past that of course Wonder Woman probably can do like lifting a car. We've seen a non-possessed Superman do this in previous stuff. Same with lifting planes. Wonder Woman can more than likely lift planes too. But on top of all this stuff I've already said, she's actually shown to have some amazing fighting speed when Deadshot are extremely accurate being she deflects every single bullet. 
and pins him. Even when not looking at their shot, she can deflect his bullet's fighting speed, guys. And she can react to Captain Boomerang, somebody that literally has possession of a Speed Force gauntlet, so he has absurd speed. Even when he tried to run away with the Speed Force, she was able to react with her last soul to show her speed too. Oh, I'm not bullcrapping. Like, he literally has a Speed Force. Speed Force gauntlet. Back when Doc Savannah tried to lift Flash's gimmick. <laughs> we don't really know the upper limits of this universe version of Flash, but we know a bare minimum this universe version of Flash can at least break the sound barrier. It's even stated here in the lore tapes of the game. They didn't really... T talk about much but it's in the game on how the flash broke the sound barrier he's at least sound barrier tier or at least faster than the speed of sound and why is this applied to diana because not only is she able to deflect bullets she's able to react to a being that has a speed force gauntlet like boomerang showing her reflexes even when he tried to run away he still wasn't fast enough to get away from her speed the actual flash himself she's able to punch and react to him mid blitz and she had to be fast enough or flash would have just simply dodged it this kind of shows she can definitely react to things way faster than bullets or speed force users, speedster S type beings. She's speedster esque, if that makes sense. You gotta remember that Flash is the same guy that can vibrate so fast he can be invisible. Confirmed here in his little Hall of Justice display that he can vibrate his molecules so much he can disappear. These are the type of beings that one woman has to react to. There's a chance this universe version of one woman could be light speed. Let me say that again. She might have light speed reflexes if we assume she's comparable to the fastest beings on the team. And apparently, you know, Green Lanterns in general are always usually light speed because it's the same stuff on lore used to from the main continuity comics. They kind of mimic the same stuff when it comes to Green Lanterns protecting an entire sector of a universe and such. Green Lanterns have to be fast to be able to fly of different parts of the universe in their same lifetime you know because one galaxy away is like light years away so they have to be massively faster than the speed of light when it comes to the raw flight speed to even technically be a green lantern we know that green lantern is nowhere near as fast as the flash because the, the flash is the fastest man alive of this universe too like it's confirmed the flash and green lantern have like this little fun relationship like literally racing and such so let's be honest we all know flash is faster than green lanterns green lanterns usually when they exist in the universe usually they can fly faster than the speed of light if you fly to different sections of space you're not faster than the speed of light you wouldn't be able to get nowhere in space so i mean lanterns just like in what we're used to they're intergalactic policemen same stuff they even mentioned that the green lanterns come from a planet called Oid and the guardians and such so yeah always in another solar system guys so he would have to be light speed stuff like this can make you interpret that one woman being in a speed level or them to be able to compete with them in power she might be able to be light speed plus i mean what do you think do you think she can react to light speed attack i mean we literally seen her react to flash flash is more than likely way faster than green lantern if we're being honest i mean in this occasion when flash was blitzing and solo the suicide squad basically before they had take to counter him she basically was the one to show that she can handle a blitz without him dodging this could imply she could react to light speed if Flash in this occasion was even running light speed around them, it seemed like the Suicide Squad couldn't do nothing. I wouldn't be surprised if he was, honestly. The game is getting DLC soon. It'll probably be more content for these characters sooner or later. She seems to be pretty strong in the lore. Losing the Superman, even if he's not amp, guys, I don't think that makes somebody weak just because they lose the Superman. Superman's a beast, so yeah. I'm pretty sure he's amp, though. Even Gold Kryptonite can't take away his powers permanently, you know. In this universe as well, it's pretty much confirmed this universe version of Wonder Woman has fought Ares. I mean, we even seen her in this game just completely basically even holding back basically soloed the suicide squad team deflecting all of deadshot's gun even pinned him partly because her skills with her sword even deflecting it with one arm like i showed earlier handling king shark and catches stuff off guard speed force users like i mentioned earlier as well showing that speed isn't really an issue with her she's pretty fast too strength and power respect arkham wonder woman hopefully she gets resurrected but what do you guys think? Do you want to see more of her? Do you think her fish are actually planet moving or her strength can carry the weight of a planet on her shoulder similar to Superman? Yeah, I would hate to get hit with this kind of force, a moon slamming in your face if she didn't hold back. But you got to respect her. Hopefully we see more. We probably will though. It's just This is just the beginning of this game's content. But before I get going, everybody, I got to give a quick thanks to the donators. Respect Arkham Wonder Woman. She's a beast. Wouldn't this be a fun game? Oh, let me let me stay on track. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.